Hi guys, today I'm extremely happy to announce that MGU patch and renew service can be offered 100% remotely. No need to remove MGU from the car. No soldering or unit disassembly needed. You only need inet cable, laptop and stable internet connection. For more details, feel free to reach out uh, to my email or my WhatsApp number that is visible on the screen right now. In the video, I'm going to be mimicking such situation. You can see a Windows-based laptop uh, that I already remoted in through TeamViewer. My inet cable connected to OBD port of my bench MGU setup. In your case, obviously, this is all going to be in the car, but here I'm presenting the most extreme case that you can imagine. For my customer, um, he had his uh, unit multimedia system stolen along with the steering wheel from his car and he needs a replacement one. New one from the BMW comes with a hefty price tag, therefore he decided to go for a used option. And that's exactly what happens if you, you take a used unit and put it in a, another car. It's going to go into component protection. Unfortunately, this scenario can materialize in a few extreme cases as well, even though if it's a factory installed unit in the car, it can also trigger. Can I help you with that? Definitely yes. Installation of used MGU, this is what's this uh, video about and showing you the range of options that are uh, available to you. A lifetime updates, yes. Import region change, definitely yes, if you want to avoid buying uh, FSC codes from uh, the dealer. Activa activations of the CarPlay and Android Auto, 100% yes, with this one caveat that you need to uh, be aware of. You need to have this pinkish port available within your MGU. This is a Wi-Fi port. Wi-Fi is a must for CarPlay and um, Android Auto within BMW because this is how the phone connects to those services. You cannot have a wired service in BMW like in other brands uh, of car makers. So, as I mentioned, this is the most extreme use case. If you want just to have the import region um, uh, change performed, no problem. If you want just to have CarPlay and Android Auto, no problem. I'm Within this video, I'm showing the whole range of services that I'm offering. Uh, if you ask me about the time, how long does it take? Uh, Let's say up to from 20 minutes for CarPlay and Android Auto import region change, uh, component protection removal, up to 30 minutes. If this is a used unit and we need to flash because it has a really old software on it, then maybe hour and a half. If we're updating the maps, you need to reserve additional 30 minutes for yourself because this is more or less the time that uh, MGU downloads the data from a USB pen drive onto its own uh, SSD. So that's more, more or less about the time that is necessary. Options are tailored uh, to your uh, needs or the customer needs because the service is rendered obviously for garages and for individuals. Um, and now Coming back to the video, you can see that mm, screen was flashing a few times and it's going to be the same for you, mm, never mind which software mm, uh, or which options you've, you have chosen. I'm still fighting with component protection and at the very end, or actually not the very end, but last uh, reboot, we should be able to remove it because this is the first step for me to progress with this head unit. If you do not have the component protection pop-up, obviously this part will be different to you, but the flashes of the screen is going to be uh, quite repetitive. As this unit is totally new to the car, it requires all the steps. So basically all the activations, then it needs to be coded to the car to make sure that all the features are working, then activation of the maps, Android Auto and CarPlay, and map update process. So this is going to be the next steps in the video right now. I'm, now I'm speeding up the video not to bore you uh, too much. Uh, so uh, I'm working on activations and in the next steps, codings. If the unit is in the car already, 
it's even better for me because for such services I have in here, the car needs the um, union needs to go back into the car and I need to perform some final touches uh, and addressing loose ends with this unit within the car. What you're seeing right now is only for the purpose of presentation and options. So this is the thumb drive I was talking about. The maps, all the activations have taken place. I'm just simply plugging it into my USB port. In your case, it's gonna be in the car. I'm just hit, hitting, you know, the, after coding, the unit is already in the Polish language. I'm updating the maps and I want to check if the Apple CarPlay is working. And unfortunately, I cannot uh, present the Android Auto part because I'm recording this with an Android phone. So obviously I cannot perform those two things at the same time, but I can guarantee you that it's going to be working as flawlessly as CarPlay does with this one restriction that the antenna needs to be connected. And actually you can see at the bottom right hand of the screen, this a 3M tape uh, part. This is this cheapo antenna that you simply need to plug in into unit to make sure that CarPlay or Android Auto will work as flawlessly as you just saw me presenting on the screen. So maps are working, Android Auto, no component uh, protection. So the last part is just the map update process. I already plugged it in. Maps have already started updating. But if you want to track the status, go to the map. I just rebooted the system for last time. Go to the settings and uh, update status. And then you can see the progress bar. It takes around 30 minutes, but that's something uh, I'm not necessary for. But if you're for a map update, this is going to be something you need to uh, stick with until the, the end. For me, I'm just showing you the whole, all the steps all of the parts of the service that can be offered, but what exactly you need, feel free to reach out to me with a VIN number and requested service. I will be giving you a quote and capabilities if you're eligible for such. Thank you for your time. Uh, was good talking to you. Take care. Bye bye.